And so when I was cleaning the kitchen, a voice said, we're only explaining what you say or think. My reply back while my phone wasn't there was, that's your opinion. Her opinion while I was pulling out something to help Ellen cook dinner with was that which I spoke about a few videos ago. That was, I didn't think that's what that opinion meant or what that where that thought was going. So to pull that to the voice, we'll call you the voice, the singer, the artist. Um, that what you said to me was what i what i had also said was say that again after it's fully processed by the group matter i didn't say it exactly like that but say it after it's processed by the group to yourself if you could if you're still thinking like that because when i said that she wasn't shocked that i didn't go that way there was no emotional anxiety behind it no butterflies. Uh, when you said that it was you guys just merely talking to explain it, I'm seeing it as synchronicity. That's how I'm viewing it. So my view on it is different because I'm watching you conversate, but it's coming out of my TV or the media that I'm watching that is just simply you guys talking or whatever, and not emotion. Now it's processed, it might be different. But also what I think you're talking about is the exact same that she talked about that I could hear. Because she wasn't talking about me, she said he. She was talking to somebody else, I could only hear one side of the conversation. Um, maybe she said to you, I don't know can't remember but I just want you to be aware that the first thoughts always the right one the second ones always the lie that will bring you to an odd or not it will close after if you keep doing it keep going off of your second one and if you want to ought based off of a lie to yourself always go with your second guess and don't stop doing it ignore your intuition completely until you get three dots to make up one full circle movement when i said my thumbprints are that of a radio wave that's no more special than yours not being mine don't have a Everybody's are unique. Everybody's are special. And everybody's has a way to be documented who has came to terms with all the bad they've done. Once I stepped on a pile of ants uh, that was coming out of the ground. And I've thought about that so many times and how shitty that was because they were just their ants. I stopped eating meat over the fucking shit for fuck's sake. It's like ruined me, but not. It's given me that much growth. So to come to term with our faults um, offers us the most growth. For you eating me down the pyramid line through all the shapes of your thumbprint or footprint, being pressed against something, everything you've ever come in contact with, if it were to eat me, shit me out and turn into food and nourish each one of your energy levels through all the dimensions eventually where I would come out is when we talked about Thoth throwing artwork into nowhere land eventually I would be able I would be the taken over green screen to project it I would hope 
or or to change it by 70% to turn it into an inspired creation and pass it to you to create or leave it in time for you to sub again or to you to interpret and create from it or to music or do whatever it is you do that I don't know but that would just be where I'd hope synchronicity would hit us all back you know through everything touching through everything everything verse excluding the people that are shitty the reason why they're the focus point is because I want to murder them, squish them in a vice, and not eat them. I just want to symbolize them for everybody that experiences any kind of visual, kind of, kind of loosely termed or emotional feeling recoil back of how that would make everything feel. I would just not, just want to symbolize it and then let the real stone cutters come into play. The actual stone cutters. You know? The actual people, the actual connection to stopping a spirit in its tracks or to not doing that with that specific spe specific until I have developed personally enough to do it with all of us together when we can be mentored on how to and I would mean that everybody that suffered in the past from them and or still future to suffer from them. Um, and I would like everybody to take a turn killing them. Okay, you're going to go here and this is what, how I would do it. But you feel free to do it how you'd like. And then it's going to go to that guy. Or that family they like to work as a team. Whatever. That kid's not mad at anything. Let's see what he'll do with it. Just so he can step on it. You know, the kids usually like to mash things up. They just like to feel them. Squish them in there. Fucking sit them on their own. Hit themselves in the head with it. You know what I mean? Shit on it. Stink it up a room. I don't care. They're still using a median or... media and I just want them to to use it no matter how young of a spirit is or how old it can have an impact on this, these pieces of shit and I just want to make up for stepping on ants when I was stupid to stepping on the stuff that actually has a meaning behind it to step on. Uh, transferable skill. You know what I mean? So, that's, and I, I'm speaking on behalf of us. Because if you have any value, that we need to understand. We're going to teamwork on this shit for, for Foreverland. And step on it through every fucking dimension we can. If they're scared of entities, we're going to entity the shit out of them. And revive them just to do it again. So that is, and whenever you see anything with my name, I hate talking about myself. It's the hardest thing I can do. It's the 
weakest muscle that I have in my fucking being. So it's the one that I practice to try to be a child. But if you've ever noticed, whenever I do it, I have to contradict or give a reason for doing it other than myself. I can't feasibly put sunshine up my ass unless I can do it for a reason or just to be a mentor and and a student to a mentor or just be openly available to go in any direction. And I want you to be proud of all your creations and not have to ask if it's good enough unless you're asking that person to add their creative splash on it and to treat it like it's a good guy. Like whatever you created is a living thing and just give it more environment to cross plant form it a little bit better or with your touch, their touch, our touch. But never second guess the quality of your work. Finish it and then say change it by 70% if you want to. I'll see my parts in it. If not, we've always got a patch. So you can always keep track of your original to see how far it's grown. To see what kind of atmosphere it's created. Because we should be able to have our own stuff too. Even though we don't like to look at it. But we do like to remember it. And every once in a while see it. Just for the Embrace of how you once felt. To be able to analyze your own personal growth, your interpersonal growth, your ISP. It's cool to be able to see where, how far you've came in such a short period of time. And with that said, I love to be able to see all the cool shit. I mean, when I'm asking people to edit the stuff, it's because it makes you feel like community, like oneness. And by me speaking what you're thinking, and I like to believe I'm doing it back for you the best way I can with my tools that I have access to. I really like to believe that. That it makes you feel good. And I don't think we've talked about when you guys line up to finger me or eat me, I'll finger and eat Gandalf. Because I'm not going to go down that shitty pipeline with an empty stomach. I need something to put in and around your mouth. And nothing cleans or paints better than his quintessence. And everybody's had a turn with Gandalf. It's a different dimension all on its own. And there definitely ain't an egg signal with that I've tried. He doesn't fingerprint, he stamps. He's a fucking Xerox machine. And if he smells that bad right now, just imagine what he would smell like digested. Holy fuck. 
Speaking of which, if you have time, and if you're free, we need to make him a Tinder account. I say Tinder because Tinder doesn't have smell. So, I just want Gandalf to be happy, so he leaves me alone. Just for a little bit. Yo, that's plenty of fish out there, you know what I mean? Maybe the sea creature, one without a nose. Whatever the media is. Just know that he's a good guy. That smells like a bad guy. But it's just his way of camouflage. You can't help it. No matter what he eats, you know, he's smelling like that, so is evolution is going to have to be with something without a nose. Period. And definitely not a plant that's going to flower. Promise me. Thank you. I see you right there on the couch. I see you right there. Boop, boop. There you are. Now you're moving around. I just like fell right behind my shoulder. You're right there. Talk to you later, guys. <laughs> and you're all over this whole fucking area. Da 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 da